Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So first off, yay, you're at interview stage, or you're considering York, woo! I'll put all the timestamps here of the places in the video where to go to, but this is a very highly requested video for me. I get this a lot, especially on Instagram, people are always asking me, like, about the interview process at York Law School, what happens, whether I have any advice, what my interview day was like. So, because I'm answering back to you guys, literally daily about this I thought I'd put it into a video uh, just so you know you guys can revisit it and just I can put a bit more detail in a video than I can on a, on a message on Instagram so without further ado yeah this is all about the interview process at York Law School so at York Law School the way it works is they basically interview everybody so if you're going to meet the grades I'll invite you in for an interview the whole point of the interview is to look at whether the candidate fits the law school and whether the law school fits the candidate because obviously at York Law School they do PBL which is problem based learning so rather than learning in a traditional seminar and uh, lecture based environment where you'll get taught something in a lecture and, you know you'll do some reading on it you'll research some questions and you'll go back in a seminar and talk about it the way it's done at York Law School is that you have PBL so you would pick up a legal problem as a group you would decipher sort of the legal issues within it and then you'd set your own questions go and research them throughout the week the lectures would supplement that process and then you'd feedback at the end so it's similar but it's a lot more independently led and focused and it gives you a really good mix of group work as well as independent study so the whole point of the interview is to determine whether you are the type of person that is best for that environment or is maybe better for a more traditional environment and obviously York Law School is the only law school in the country that do PBL so that's kind of why the interview I think is needed so much so in those PBL groups the dynamic has to work so it's really crucial that they, they find people in interview that want to do that sort of thing so before you actually go to interview my number one bit of advice is to go on the York Law School website and look at the interview guide uh, I'll link it in the description below so basically the interview guide sets out what happens what to expect why you're being interviewed and it also sets out the questions that, that you're gonna be asked because each question kind of represents like a topic and they cover I think five or six topics so it lists like the topic of what they're gonna cover what type of questions might come up why you're being asked that and how to kind of prepare a bit more so it's really really crucial in my opinion to read the interview guide online because it's just a really fundamental way to get your head around what's actually going to happen and what type of questions you might be asked so I've got the interview guide here so just to run through it the interview process generally uh, they say it should last up to 20 minutes most of them literally last like 10 if that so the first question they ask you is like a warm-up question uh, so for me I think it was just like why do you want to come to York or why do you want to study law? Something really generic, like something that when you're applying to law at university, like you've got a, an answer in your back pocket for those type of questions. It'll be something really generic. Then the second type of question, so the real, the first question that is actually being graded, is all about understanding York Law School and problem-based learning. So it might be something on the lines of like, what type of learner are you or what's your learning style? and or how has that like affected your learning or um, what attracts you to problem-based learning or why do you want to do PBL, like that type of thing. And obviously, you know, one glance at the website and some words on group work will ding that question right off. Then it moves on to self-awareness and reflection because if you guys watch my videos, you will know that the amount of reflection we have to do at York Law School is, it might as well be a degree within itself. It's, it's insane. So of course it's, naturally fitting that they're going to have a question on reflection within the interview process. I remember this question when I had my interview. My interview's kind of blurry, I only remember a few questions they asked me, but this is one of them. And it's basically stuff like, have you ever been in a situation where you realise afterwards that what you said or what you did was wrong and in hindsight, what would you have done differently? Or how do you think you will personally judge whether you have been successful in your life? Wow, it's a bit deep. Have a few scenarios in your back pocket, whether it's a group thing at school or like a friendship, group falling out or matchmaking or whatever it is, um, you know, whether it's a society or a club or something you've done at school, like any scenario really is fitting to that workplace, whatever. Uh, then the third question, naturally, group work. What aspects of working a group have you most enjoyed and what aspects have you found most challenging? Or can you give an example of a serious disagreement within a group of which you've been a part of and how was it resolved? So, you know, typical group work stuff. Um, again, have a few scenarios in your back pocket that you are ready just to pull out and sort of manipulate to fit the question. I remember the question that I had for that was, um, if someone in your group isn't doing their work, what would you do? And like, I had just done a group work project at college where like no one did their work. So I was like, 
I know exactly how I'm going to answer this question. So questions four and five are the logic and structured argument questions. So basically the debatey type questions that you'd expect from a law school interview. Now you don't need to have any legal knowledge whatsoever to be able to answer them. They're literally just kind of stuff that you'd be able to answer within your daily life and regardless of your background and it's literally just looking at how you're structuring an argument and so you can say what you want it's just about justification and about articulating yourself enough to say yeah I think this because xyz and it might not fit in certain circumstances but overall you know on balance whatever I believe this because uh, it's, it's that type of thing. I remember the question that I had was do you think parents should be responsible for their children and my answer was like they should be responsible up until a certain age but then after that like it should be up to the children and and then I kind of listed certain circumstances where you know like and talked about capacity and things like that of children where it may not be appropriate for um a child to have full responsibility for actions and it might be responsible for a care or a parent to like step in so it's kind of saying like yeah I believe one thing but there are certain circumstances where it may or may not fit so it's about it's just showing them that I've thought it through and these are also the questions where if you need to take a moment to go yeah that's a really good question do you mind if I have a just a second to think about that it's fine like they don't care they want you to do well so if you you know need a moment it's fine don't worry about it the example questions on the interview guide for this section are the government is considering allowing universities to increase tuition fees do you think this is fair if a significant portion of these increases go to improving academic pay or should the government be allowed to hold suspected terrorists indefinitely without trial so it is the type of thing that you can kind of have an opinion on although they're quite not difficult but like weird in comparison to the ones that I like remember having in my day I think there was stuff like do you think the arts should be funded over the healthcare or like generic generic debating question uh, and then after that it goes on to creative thinking which I think collectively within the cohort at YLS would be seen as like the death question the question that everybody hates because it's the type of thing that you don't expect and I don't really remember having a creative question in my day but since then I've heard some of the creative questions and if I'd had them I think I've been really really thrown off it's just it's just one of them that you've just got to go with it and not worry too much about what you're saying just how you say it so the question is ultimately just looking at can you think quickly on your feet and can you think in different ways other than like an academic structured argument way so more just like your creative thinking outside the box type of skill uh, so the questions that they have that listed here is do television programs boost or damage the image of lawyers which they had last year I, mean, I know that some people in, in my year said that they had um, if law was a karaoke song what would it be in why they had if law was a sport what would it be and why if you could fire all the supreme court justices and replace them with one celebrity who should pick and why and i know someone that said kim kardashian for that and got in so quite frankly as i said it's not what you say it's how you say it and this was before she was going down the law route so it was it was a weird answer so that's all the questions and topics and things that they'd ask on top of sort of the individual topics that they're looking at, you know, creative thinking, logical and structured argument, PBL, group work, they're also looking for certain personal attributes. They're kind of obvious things like be polite, um, be quite cool and calm under pressure, um, eye contact, shake someone's hand when you walk in the room, you know, and they're literally just looking for you to be you, not for you to be this version of a lawyer that you think they're looking for, just to be who you are as a person. You know, as I said before, the interview process is looking at do you fit this law school and does this law school fit you? So if you're not being yourself, like they can't assess that, you know, to the best that they could. So it's really important just to be who you are. And at the end of the day, being rejected from the interview isn't to say that you're not good enough and it isn't to say that you're not, you know, worthy or academically intelligent enough to be at York. It's literally just saying, you are not the type of person that would thrive in a PBL group environment and you are best suited at another establishment. And quite frankly, you know, that's doing you a favour um, because if you can't pass the interview and they think you're not right to be here, then you'd probably just, you know, not have the best three years doing a law degree. So that's the interview guide. So on top of that, just a few little things to note. So what to wear. Most people wear business casual. I remember I wore like a suit but brogues and a jumper kind of looked a bit Miami Vicey but like you know um it, it wasn't like full suit full heels or anything like that but some people do wear that some people wear jeans some people wear tracksuit bottoms I think the, the lecturers do kind of say like it doesn't really matter what you wear and if you wear something that's not you know typical of what you'd expect someone to wear to an interview you're not necessarily going to be marked down but at the same time they will kind of look and think you maybe haven't put all the effort into the interview the interviewers will not talk to you. They'll literally ask you a question and then be 
silent. So it's not like a conversation, it's not like building up a rapport like it would be in a typical interview. It literally is just, what do you think about X? silence and it's like stone wall comes down and they don't help you whatsoever. I remember my interviewer, I kind of looked when I was looking her in the eyes and talking about my like giving my answer. I remember seeing flickers. I can see her willing me to like say certain things and willing me to like give a good answer. They won't ask you to like elaborate on something or explain your point further or anything like that. So what you've said and when you finish talking it's kind of like that's it. So try and basically say everything you want to say um, before they move on to the next question because you won't get another chance. So generally that's about it for my advice. I thought I would end this video with talking about my uh, interview experience uh, just as a little anecdote to end the video. So I remember I had my interview in March 2017 and I was living in London on my own at the time and I remember I pretty much heard back from all of my university choices before Christmas because I applied early. So I was kind of thinking York, I was like, well, it's not gonna go well, is it? Cause it took, you know, it took an extra three or four months. But anyway, I remember I got this email. It basically looked like a code, like HTML link, like, you know what I mean? Like code when you go behind a website whatever that is called. And it looks like that rather than like pictures and stuff. So when I opened this on my phone, it said that it was from like the York Law School admissions, but then the email was like weird and like coded rather than said anything. So I remember just thinking, oh, I bet it's just junk mail, whatever, like delete it. I bet it's like a fake email, like whatever. And I did that for like a month of these emails. I was like, God, why do they keep sending these emails? Anyway, and then by chance, one of the emails that I got sent like, about a month later, I opened it on my laptop and then it read like a normal email. <laughs> and then I realized that, no, in fact, this email was them inviting me to an interview that I'd literally been deleting for a month and just assuming that because I hadn't heard anything from York Law School that I hadn't gotten in. The email they sent was literally their like, their last email that goes, if you do not accept this email, then we will like remove the interview offer or whatever. Um, so it was lucky that I read that one on my laptop. So when I had finally read that, the interview was like the week later. So I got the train up from London on my own to go to York. Um, I remember I got there so early because on the email it said like, you need to be there from 10 and my interview was at like two o'clock. So I had to wait around all day and obviously like I went up on my own. So I literally was just like, on my own the whole day, like looking around campus and stuff. And I remember I met um, a few people at the interview day, like students, and I'm actually like still friends with them now, which is kind of weird to think about, even though we've all gone to different unis. Um, but like their parents were like adopting me and they were like, everyone was talking like, hey, would you get on the LNAT? Would you do on this? Would you do on that? And like everyone was just like, really nice. So I kind of got adopted for the day by some random parents. The actual interview day itself, you have like a talk by the head of admissions, um, which basically outlines the PBL process and like what the law school do, um, just the general like what gist of what's on the website really. Uh, and then they do a parents talk, I believe, which I've given as a law school ambassador since then, full circle, um, which basically is just like, letting the parents know like the full experience of York and all the societies and clubs and stuff that you can do accommodation all of that type of thing. The actual interview yeah so my interview I remember sitting outside the door of where like my interview was going to be and they're all in the PBL area which is like glass doors so you can see everybody having their interviews all around the room. I remember sitting there and I was just kind of like the whole time um and I was just so nervous. So we had these little like badges that said like your name and uh, the interview times and stuff on them. And I remember when she came out and called my name, I was so nervous that like, as I stood up, I like pinged my badge off and it went all the way across the room. And I was like, oh, like so nervous. And I went to go and pick it up and then I dropped my coat and my bag and I like slumped off my shoulder. And I was just kind of like trying to sort myself out. And she was looking at me probably thinking, what an idiot. And I had to kind of like shake her hand, like all my stuff everywhere and then sat down I remember sitting down and thinking, Christ, this is not a good start. To top it off, uh, the room that I was in, so behind her was like the view of campus. And I remember every time she asked me a question, I kind of was looking behind her and looking at the landscape and just like thinking. And I thought, oh my God, does she think I'm not like paying attention? I am, I just kind of was like looking at the buses going past and stuff. But yeah, obviously it went well. It was like 10 minutes, got in. And I remember I got my interview score back uh, cause you get scored I think out of 10. And I remember it was like quite a high score. It's funny now that I'm in third year and I'm almost graduating to like think back about that story and how nervous I was. But yeah, uh, after that, I remember I looked around York uh, the town, which I'd definitely recommend to anybody coming to York to do, whether you've been to York or not before. And I remember this was the first time I'd ever even been this far north. Um, and when I looked around the city, like I completely fell in love with it. I remember I was on the phone to my mum, you know, and she asked me, she was like, can you be here for three years? Can you see yourself being here for three years? And I was like, 
yeah, you know what, I actually can. And it was kind of like at that moment that I was like looking around me and I thought, yeah, like this is right, this is where I should be. And I think really that feeling that you get when you know something is right is the ultimate feeling you should be looking for when applying for universities. So, you know, that's, that's I guess, another takeaway from this video. But yeah, I hope this video is helpful. Any questions about the interview process or York Law School generally, put them in the comments below. What I wanna do uh, in a few months time is do a really, really big Q and A all about York Law School. So if you have any questions about the law school generally, put them in the comments below and I will add them to that Q and A that I'll film soon. So that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. I'll see you next week. Bye guys.